Risky Behavior. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Smelly, and um, today we're talking about do women keep women single? Hmm. I'm just playing. I, I don't want no title like that. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of the whole gender war thing. And I see men and women doing the, some of the same things. So today what I wanted to talk about was be careful the company you keep. Watch who you call your friend. A lot of times in life, people don't realize that the things that are holding you back in life are the things that you invited into your life. And sometimes you need to take inventory to see what can stay and what needs to go. Now, in today's um, video example, it's from the Kendra G Single Live Show. For those who do not know, this is a show for singles. They come online or to Kendra G's platform and they introduce themselves they answer a line of questioning, and after the show, they give their contact information in hopes that someone will reach out to them for a potential love interest. Now, the young lady that you see on the screen, she came on to the Kendra G show. Um, she seemed very nice to me, um, pleasant, seemed like a sweet young lady. And the interview was going well, was going well. But then it took a drastic turn. Now, every show, Kendra G has a line of questions that she asks every guest, male and female. You have to answer all the questions. There's only one question that you can skip, you can pass, you don't even have to answer it. One question. And that question is, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Now, this young lady declined to answer the question. She said, skip it. She preferred not to answer. And that's her right. However, she has a friend with her that's in the background. You know what? I'm going to just play the video because I want you to see how her friend just straight up embarrassed her. And I want you to let me know after the video, do you think that her friend is what you would call a friend? All right, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hey, what? You ready? Say yes. yes. You know we see them breasts, girl. <laughs> Kendra G is obsessed with breasts at this point. And like... I guess we can't do nothing about it. Is your name Kenyatta? Yes. Where are you calling us from, boo? I'm calling from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. How old are you? I'm 36. 36? What you do for a living? Um, I'm a pipe fitter by trade. You're a what? A pipe fitter. A pipe thinner? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Kendra, you don't know what a pipe fitter is. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that. All right. Um, what's your zodiac sign? A what? Industrial pipe fitter. Okay, industrial. What's your zodiac sign, honey? Gemini. Gemini. You have any kids? I have one. How old is your one kid? Thirteen. Thirteen. Kenyatta, Mobile, Alabama. Thirty-six. Gemini. Um, pipe thinner. One kid. That's thirteen. Um, have you ever been married? No. No. Um, let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I'm looking for a man that is genuine, confident, knows what he wants. It's a lot. <laughs> God fearing. Yeah. <laughs> now you hear her. Um, that's her friend's voice in the background. Um, interjecting. This is her first interjection god fearing and i want someone who um can show the type of man that he is and not just speak on it because that's I what speak we... on it okay what are your deal breakers my deal breaker is a liar i don't like liars um someone who is not um emotionally intellectual 
And um someone who doesn't know how to compromise. Okay. Should he look a certain way? I I would prefer a taller man. Um, I'm only four eleven. So You're, okay, so everybody's taller than you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At least five. So you date a guy that's five four? Yes. Okay. All she needs is somebody that's like five two four. Come on. I'm really short. <laughs> What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Yes, I think he should make at least sixty thousand plus. Um, okay. As long as he can sustain himself and me also, and handle his responsibilities as a man, and okay. share that. Um. What about let's do the Kendra can. The Kendra can. Okay. Yeah. Well, hold on one second. I put you on. Oh, sorry. Hey, babe. Can you see? She put your mom. <laughs> I think she put your mom. You look cute. Can you go Hello? Okay, my bad. I had to put you on. Someone said, DM, can't you mute us? I did. <laughs> I had to. Okay. All right. Oh, I had to get my phone because my battery's dying. So you got to okay. do the Kendrick DM again. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got to fix my phone because the battery's dying. They like big titties. They don't be. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Was that good? Okay. All right, there we go. You know you got some breasts, girl. What you saying? <laughs> Them titties. Sweet. I mean, well, I guess you can't do nothing about it. You I know you got some breasts, girl. Naturally blessed. Naturally blessed. Okay. I told you she got an obsession with big breasts. Kendra G, she loves them. Okay. So we got Kenyatta, Mobile, yeah. Alabama, 36, Gemini, Industrial, Pipe Center, um, Mom 2, One Kid, that's 13. Okay. When was your last relationship? My last relationship was 2021. 2021. Okay. You don't have to. Now, I want y'all to hold on to that. She said her last relationship was 2021. Now, here comes the question. Answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I prefer not to answer. Good. Why? I love you all. <laughs> You prefer not to answer? Yeah, I prefer not to answer. Okay, Kendra, dig tool, Kendra. Kendra, dig it tool. Wait, okay, what you know that we don't know? <laughs> Some of the Why would you do that on a... Never mind. Talk about it. No. Okay, well, here's the deal. You don't have to answer that question, so she can use her pass to skip. But you have a friend that is, she wants me to press you with this issue. So, friend, do you want to just tell on her? You want to tell on me? <laughs> I want you to tell her, because she really a good storyteller. Um, let's see. I guess I answer. Uh, the last time that I was intimate was... Today is... Saturday. I'll say <laughs> Sunday. Last Sunday. So uh, last six On days ago. Day. Huh? So who was the guy you slept with six days ago? And what's wrong with him? What? What? Why he ain't? A, he ain't a kid uh, in the day. Well, uh, he's just you know, he's just something I'm with. You know, when I can get it. Hold on. Is this your friend or is this your enemy? Because I don't know <laughs> she's your friend. friend. I don't know if she's your friend because we supposed to skip that question, but she made me ask, so now we know you slept with somebody six days ago, and she wants the world to know, friend, you know she's trying to get a new man because he didn't work out. This ain't good information for yeah, you so we, to know, friend. Yeah, we gonna cut, we gonna cut that out. 
Well, I'm well, we can't cut, cut out. Out. It was cut out. I but was going to move forward. You made me stop and ask it. See, you don't want to. You don't want to run your body count up. So you just stick with one. That's true. You don't want to really bring your body count up. You really want to. Uh, I'll deal with you until. So what's wrong? What's wrong with the guy you slept with six days ago? He's not consistent. Um, a lot of back and forth, and I just don't. When you go back and forth with me, I'm sorry. I'm like. I'm not, I'm like, just, just what they say Gemini's are, you know, I'm your best friend and your worst enemy, so. Best you get friend to that point, and your worst enemy. When you get to that point, you just, you're my worst enemy now, because I don't like, I don't like drama. Um, I feel I'm too nice for that. I'm very caring, supportive. I'm going to support you to the end, but I don't, just tell me the truth. Be honest with me. That's like the best thing you could do. Okay. Now, as you can see, it was going good up until this point. And you know what? Kendra G said something, and this is what I've always thought, just me personally, right? Kendra G said, you know, we're not supposed to answer that. And that's how I feel. No woman with class would even answer that question. If somebody asks you that, they don't really want to know it's kind of like body count. How you ain't got enough class to lie? And you're coming on a dating show to be with another man, right? Now, if you're presenting yourself as a good and decent woman, you want a good and decent man. What good and decent man want to take some woman out that just has some other dude up in her? Why would... Why would a friend even say it do something like that? Why? What was your point? You you talk to your friend and you say, hey, I want you to come onto this show and I want you to be there for me and I want you to support me because I'm trying to be with somebody else. And I'm trying to find love. I want to get married one day. And your friend says, okay, yeah, I'll come on to you with this show. Why would this be what they do to you? Why would you make? This is very clear. No debating. That is not a friend. A friend wouldn't do that. But I'm glad that she did do it. Because remember I said, hold on to that piece of information. When she said, when's the last time you was in a relationship? She said, oh, 2021. Hmm. Really? Well, I I was curious. So I said, you know, um, I had a thought in my head. I said, well, I'm going to just read it off the definition for a relationship. Right. Which is the way in which two or more concepts, objects or people are connected or the state of being connected. The way in which two or more people or groups regard and behave toward each other. Um. We got to let we got to stop letting people play with words and play with situations. Because she says she gets with the guy. You know, whenever she can get with him, so she's had one person that she's been dealing with. And even like the um, friend said, oh, well, we, we don't want to run up our body count. Well, if you don't want to run up your body count and you've been dealing with one person, that's a relationship. Might not be exclusive. He might not ever ask you to marry him. Y'all don't live together. But technically, you have a relationship with that person. You have a connection with them. There's someone that you are sleeping with. And the only person that you're sleeping with. That sounds like a relationship to me. And the reason I say that's important to know is because when you're dealing with somebody with all these um, diseases that's out here, people getting jealous. Um, you can watch these crime shows, things like fatal attraction, people getting jealous, hurting each other, stalking each other and things like that. She has been involved with somebody and she's trying to act like this person doesn't exist and that there is no relationship. It's just nothing at all. But you was with this person. The only person that you ever that you the only person that you've been sleeping with because you don't want to run your body count up. You was just with this person six days ago.
And I've seen dudes embarrass women like that. I've seen where women be out on dates with these guys and the guy that they just slept with runs into them and they're like, chick, <laughs> you was just with me last week. I was just in you. What are you talking about? That is wild to me. It's so much messed up right now in this interview. She just needs to scrap the whole interview. What guy, what marriage minded, good guy is going to hit this up? And especially with a friend like that, you know, you got to deal with a friend. You know, if you date her, you technically dating her friend. She's already showing she comes with um, with drama. Already. Big mouth friend can't keep a mouth closed. And that shows you their mind frame. And this is what I was saying before about um, people need to take inventory and people wonder why what's holding them back. Um, if you can just sit there and smile and think that's totally cool. That shows me how out of touch you are when it comes to dating and when it comes to the opposite sex is that you think that the men who want to date you want to hear a story about somebody you was with six days prior and that that man wants to hear that and take you out on a date and get to know you. These two women, they are out of their damn mind. We're going to play the rest of the um, interview. Um, Because the chat, nobody. And that's another thing you have to recognize when everybody is pointing to something saying this is wrong. You have to be able to step back and say, maybe it is wrong. So I'm about to play the rest of this video because I want to get to um, the people in the chat. Everybody and Kendra G is like, this is not a friend. So he, so you done with him for sure? Yes. Okay. She ain't done with him. Oh, I got, listen, they say your friend's a hater. Oh, I got to get you no. after. Oh, she's not a hater. They, they said, not, come yes, here, that friend is a low-key hater. Keep an eye on her. Who what? No. We strong over here, well, yeah. baby. That's my beastie. That's my sister. Ooh, Okay. Let's, um, why would a guy, you did a few of your three flaws, right? And as they say, with friends like these, who needs enemies? <laughs> yes. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm supportive. Um, I'm the type that wants to make sure your day goes right. I tend to ask. How's your day? How can I help your day get better? How was your week? Um, somebody to grow with. Um, overall, I just feel like you let me know what you need. I'm the one who wants to cook for you, who wants to cater to you. I just want that reciproc reciprocation. Okay, reciprocation. All right, Kenyatta, now, can the guy have kids? One. One kid. Um... Do you want more kids? If he doesn't have any, yes. Should he be in Alabama? No. No. What's your age range? My age range is, I'll say, 35 to 40, 43. 43. 35 to 43. All right, let's do it. We got Kenyatta. Am I saying it right? Kenyatta. Kenyatta, Kenyatta. Kenyatta, Mobile, Alabama, 36, Gemini. Pipe thinner? Pipe thinner, yes. Pipe thinner. One kid that's 13, make at least 60K. And she was with a guy six days ago, but he's a rap. Period. Period. All right. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, they can reach out to me on Instagram. It's Kenny underscore the D A one, the number one, the number one. And download the dating app. Kendra G Singles is the name. 
iPhones okay. and Android phones. Okay. Okay. This, they they tell me to tell you to watch out for your friend girl. She so, about we we good we good. I mean, yeah. okay, we got some more. Okay, so these are some more paid. These are some more paid questions. Um. Um. And, and see how that is. See how that's a hater mentality right there. We good over here. What do you mean we good? This is a single woman with a 13 year old child that is looking for a husband and trying to form a family. And see, that's that bull that I'm talking about. We good. What do you mean? We good. We good. Like as if. We're already a family and she don't need a man. That's what she's saying. You got to pay attention to what these people are saying. She's trying to keep her single. We good. What do you mean we good? She's not good. She's trying to find a husband. She's trying to find a man. But her friend don't want to lose her spot. It, that statement right there alone. We good tells everything oh let's she about to read the chat so okay someone said kendra she's a pipe fitter i think you're saying pipe thinner you said pipe thinner right pipe fitter like thinner. Pipe. yeah i'm saying what she told me to say no pipe um, f-i-t-t-e-r oh you're saying fitter you are saying fitter Fitter, yes, F-I-T-T-E-R. Oh, I'm saying thinner, so she was right. This woman was right. I kept saying thinner, so it's pipe fitter, pipe fitter. Thank you, Angie, you were right. I was saying it wrong. Um, Wash your hands says, why did your friend let you come on on the shower looking? I, I don't know, we're going to. They're saying, why did your friend let you come on the show, I think, I guess, in your outfit. But I think you want, I think you want to show off your brand. I was talking about outfit. I think she wants to show her breasts off. Because um, my breasts are um, big? That's personal. That's your problem. These, um, I can't say this. Desertees says she's not your friend and Kendra just exposed her for you. Girl. Everyone's saying bad friend. <laughs> TJ, bad. that's a bad friend. If she's holding her accountable, do it off camera. Her friend and anybody who agrees, that's weird energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Friend, you want to show your face, friend? Say no, what? My hair ain't mess. I ain't in a um in the condition to be on camera. <laughs> Everybody say, watch out for this friend. She said, your friend's a hater. Please pay attention and ditch her. No, thank you. <laughs> I will say this. It what I mean. It, it's because she made you talk about. Sleeping with a guy. She, she wanted me to open because up because she know I'm very talkative. She needs to see it. I'm very talkative either way. So she was just trying no, to get but okay. I don't know. This could be true. Could this I? could be true. But I, I, I will say this, and this is why I allow people to skip that. That's the only question you don't have to answer. If you say you don't want to answer, I keep it going. It's, it's fine. We keep, we keep it G on the Kendra G show. Like, <laughs> we'll be lying about it's not about lying. It's about presenting yourself for the best male candidate. And some men okay. will be turned off by the fact knowing you slept with somebody six days ago. Everybody's sleeping with somebody, Kendra. Woo! <laughs> they say everybody's sleeping with somebody. Y'all just not telling who y'all slept with. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Okay, well, she listen, that's her home girl. She riding with her, and that's what it is. You keep Here. me posted how it goes, honey. Okay, thank you. All right, bye, folks. <laughs> bye. Uh, I would be. You can't tell people. Some people you can't tell them anything. You know, she think that's cute. Oh, we keep it G on the Kendra G show. And you know what? I'm glad that they did that because that made me think of something is this is that
the fact that she accepts that from a friend points to the issue um, when it comes to maybe her dating and why she has even been in a relationship. I, I call it a relationship. Why she's been in a relationship so long with a guy that has offered her nothing but sex and, sex, and she's um, been dealing with him for how long she's been dealing with him, right? It, it points to that and stuff, you know, because she doesn't understand is that in order to have a, a healthy relationship or a healthy friendship, you have to have boundaries. You have to have things that you are willing to accept, things you are not willing to accept, right? And I don't think she understands that the guy that wants a relationship, the guy that wants marriage, the guy that is going to be a good guy for you. He does not accept behavior like that. So that risky behavior that you have, that guy is not going to hit you up. And that's why I'm like, she needs to scrap this whole interview. I would not, if she was smart, she wouldn't answer any DMs or anything like that from any of the guys because all she did was do an interview showcasing the fact that you can sleep with her and you don't have to give her anything. And so all them guys are going to hit her up. The guys that's like, hey, look, she just put herself out there that you can sleep with her and ain't got to give her anything. And so them the guys are going to hit her up. But ain't no decent guy with a good head on his shoulders that's looking for marriage, looking for his wife. He's not about to, seriously? And then can you imagine that you take her out on a date and it does go somewhere and then you introduce it to your friends and you have to tell the story about how y'all met and then they, <laughs> they like, wow, so you went out with the girl who was just with somebody six days ago? Hey, whatever, teach his own. I'm about to get up out of here and I'm about to... um. I'm going to end with my final statement and get up out of here. I want to say that I appreciate all those that um, support the show, um, all the subscribers, people that um, like the video, that share the video, that comment under the video. I want everybody to make sure that they comment under this video. Um, thumbs it up, share it. But I really like the comments because I want to hear from y'all. I want to know what y'all think about this. Um, is this risky behavior? Yes or no. Is it a big deal? Yes or no. To me, it's a big deal. I think that's a total violation of friendship. Um, I think that was just totally embarrassing. Even if that was a guy, that would be bad. Even if it was a guy. So you could put this on a woman, put this on a man. Either way to me, that would have um, looked bad. So with that being said, I'm about to give my final statement and um, be blessed. And I appreciate you all. Be careful of the company you keep and be mindful of who you allow to be your friend, as not everyone who seems supportive has your best interest at heart. Some individuals, though unintentional, may work against you due to their own unresolved issues and insecurities, which can inadvertently hinder your progress and well-being. Additionally, there are those who may intentionally seek to undermine you, feeling slighted or envious and use the guise of friendship to get close enough to sabotage your efforts and achievements. It's crucial to be discerning and protect your inner circle, surrounding yourself with genuine, trustworthy friends who uplift and encourage your growth, rather than those who might hold you back or cause you harm. Risky, out. Risky behavior.